Hi guys, this is Kitchy Wolf and this is a comparison of sound between the non-dampened uh, red keys of the Corsair K60 and also going to compare it with the uh, Cupid MK80. As you see here, the little grey squares here are the soft dampening pads, the soft landing pads. This is the name, free commercial, right? Here we go, and this is on the uh, Sherry Red MX switches. Cupid MK80 is uh, Sherry Blue. Just wanted to show you how it looks when you just put them on and just put the cap back on. And a distinct sound presses down on the bottom forcefully, like this, so like this. With the landing pad. Not that much, but if you're forcefully, it's a bit softer sound. So it's for those guys who are a bit tougher in the fingers, pressing down to the plate, then they are doing something. On the red switches, oh, see, there we go. Forcefully, easy, easy, forcefully. As you hear, not that much. Difference. That was the MK80. So, this is the problem I have with the Corsair K60. The caps are a bit uh, cheaper feeling. Uh, the sound in them is uh, louder than they should be. And I noticed this when I uh, switched the cap from the K60 over to the <laughs> MK80. Uh, like they are reverberating a bit more or something like that, but all in all, that is what you get if you do, do the soft landing pads or dampening of the Corsair K60 uh, versus the Cupid MK80. So the soft landing pads are doing the job on this keyboard, not so much on this. I mean, I, I think that still that you're losing about one millimeter of strike through length. And that is uh, good for these keys. When you're typing, not that much, but gaming, that millimeter can be mm, nice. Nice to have, not something definite. So that's a small comparison of uh, sound and also, yeah, between the MK80 and the K60 once more. Cheers!